Hey, Marcus Conti. Investigative journalist, plaintiff in Conti versus DSNY. So, you know, I was thinking about resistance today. Yesterday I was down at, uh, I was walking around Lower Manhattan and uh, Zuccotti Park. And, you know, today I'm watching on the TV. It's December 6th, Wednesday, and I was watching, not on TV, on YouTube somewhere. Somebody was talking about a protest down in uh, Washington. And, you know, Brooklyn is, where I where I am right now is, is uh, it's Fort Hamilton. You see all the, the war monuments. There's the bridge in the background. It's also this stone right here. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool. It says to commemorate the first resistance made to the British arms in New York State, 1776. I think you might be seeing it backwards, but again, that's, um, you know, that's where we are. We're right at the, the, the opening of the New York Harbor. But what I, what I wanted to say was that, uh, you know, thinking about resistance and what it means and how one fights back or how a group of people fight back, I just, I just fundamentally, you know, disagree. I think with, with the protesting, with the signs and the banging on your drums and carrying on like that. It's actual cannonballs, by the way. See cannonballs? It's a cannon over there. Check out the cannon. I just don't think that that's, you know, for every every time, every era has a, a way of resisting. And then what happens is it gets co-opted by the opposition and then they call themselves the resistance. Yeah, it's a cannon. cannon. Massive cannon, right? Like, for example, you know, the Clintons are... are <laughs> we're, you know, the, the absurdity that Hillary Clinton, you know, is in front of the resistance. They're the thing that, that people are resisting. And then they, they, they claim to be the resistance. So what I'm saying is, what, what, it, what occurs to me is that, what if the same, what if, here's an example. What if the kids that went down to D.C. today, right, they saved their money, they work at Starbucks for eight dollars an hour and they save their money and then you know to go to dc to protest and they spend that hundred dollars on a bus ticket you know they can eat at mcdonald's they can eat shift food and what are they going down there to do to get arrested and, and you know and and that's their big protest what if they took that same you know 95 dollar bus money or train money and and they all you know file lawsuits against you know, municipalities for corruption. You know, and I don't say it figuratively or lightly. I say it seriously. I mean, what if we had a mass, a mass movement in this country where people began to engage and ultimately collapse the court system that is is basically impotent in helping its people right now, or suing congressmen? And suing House of Representatives, suing councilmen for 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 for, for um, neglect of duty because they're not doing their job because they're, they're you know they're they're not. What if what if police and you know what if the what if the police you know inside all, all across the country were to were to stand up and expose the corruption from the inside out. What if the FBI did it? What if the CIA did it? What if workers at the NSA did it and all the agencies that we don't even know about, that don't even have a name, the secret societies? What if we really exposed it from the inside? And then, and then when, when, when the powers that be go to prosecute, that's where, we, that's where we fight. And that's where we come together and we support. Something to think about today. So the the uh, right all the write ups, the boring DSNY stuff, that's part of it. I was almost gonna. I was almost gonna. You see, you see how I I, I'm, I was almost inclined to end right there, but 
But that's the, that's the fight right there. You know how, for example, one person can can bring a bring a an agency to a screeching halt by by leaning on his crowd, by leaning on you, and rallying the troops. That's what I'm talking about. And that doesn't require, you know, you you don't see me outside with a single fucking poster or swing, you know, carrying a sign or nothing. You hit them when they're not even looking, when they pow, they don't even know it's coming. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh my god. You clog them up that way, that's the real resistance. That's what I'm talking about. Peace out.